Hey guys, welcome to another video. It seems very weird what I have in front of me. This is a 12 volt lead acid battery, supposed to be sealed, but it's been dead for so long, probably years, that this battery has not even been touched. And I would be surprised if it has anything on it. It has 3.2 volts, which that's not even a threshold to qualify for a charger to pick it up. Well, what are we going to do? What do we know so far for the lead acid batteries? Well, you should have gloves and eye protection to begin with, which I don't right now, but it's fine. This cap in most of them is removable from the sides here. This one, unfortunately, was glued in with strong adhesive. What do we do? I already took it off in the worst way possible. You put it on the side. In this case, you have to be very careful. Inside these batteries, there's acids that could be actually very, very bad for you. But there's as well the water. And that's not just regular water. It's distilled water. And what do I have on this glass here? It's just that. Distilled water from the rain. It's pure rain water. Not distilled water bought from a fancy store or any Walmart or any of that store. Well, what do we do? We take the caps out. Watch out. There's gases sometimes when you take the caps out. There is gases trapped inside, so you have to watch out. As I'm not sure if the microphone is picking that up, but I hear the small hiss taking them out. After we remove those, I suggest you don't touch these by hands, how I'm doing, but that's up to you. Don't do as I do, but do as I say. We take the distilled water, or rainwater in this case, I'm doing it poor man's way, we suck some of the water with a turkey baster. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. <laughs> Wipe it out and carefully put a few drops on each of them. After you visually have checked that there is no water visible inside. This one we know has no water inside. We put just a few drops. And during this work here. Make sure you have a dry towel nearby just in case for excess water. You dry it out because we do not need any extra water besides what goes inside. And that's what I'm doing right now, repairing my own mistake and taking the extra water out. They will uh, drain the water fast, the one in the holes that you'll see some extra. Don't worry about it. They're meant to do that. They'll drink as much as they want. We take that out. And now what I would like to do is visually check if there's water to the top. This one doesn't have this one doesn't have water to the top. In that case, I would like to add just a few more drops. At this point, don't expect any voltage spikes yet, but you should always just try it before you go ahead and do any charging to the battery just to make sure everything is okay let's put the leads here 3.1 0 0.04 3 volt 2 volt half volt 1.2 2.5 2 1.4 let's check for water again it's a slow process just be patient with it bring the water back again and just drip it if you have a water drop the eye drop or whatever would be even better but that's all i have for now is what happens here is that inside you have the individual cells or walls that will suck this water as they need it. So be patient with it, especially if the battery has been sitting for years, like mine, you have to be very patient in order to have any hopes to bring it back. And check it visually again. After a visual check, these two need just a few more drops. And at this point, we have 
quite a lot of water maybe not enough we'll have to check it later again but uh, I would like to try the voltage again test how much juice do we have because this is literal how much juice okay the same 3.1 and we check the individual cells 0 0.03 again 3 volt again half volt again this one seems quite dead. 1.6, 1.5. Let's see this one here. And I think at this point we will attempt to charge it. And uh, as I said before, please be very careful when working with batteries, with acid, with uh, current, with uh electricity or what do you want to call it and uh let's try if we can trickle charge it a little bit because before this battery would not take any kind of charge what i'm using in this case is a harbor freight cheap trickle charger uh, i think it's like 10 12 bucks at least used to be i don't know now it's been a while since i bought this one let's take the positive lead to the positive side and let's take the negative lead to the negative side if they want to stay. And then turn on the charger and see what happens. At this point, I suggest you do not put your face over the holes. To check for water or anything, there's a risk of getting acid fumes on you is very high. So I'm just going to put this cap on so I don't mistakenly do that. And uh, we'll just periodically keep checking the charge if it's charging. The charger itself turned red, so that means it's charging. But we'll have to see if there's any juice going to the battery, if the battery is getting any charge itself. And uh, we can just check it. Keep checking. Let's take this lead out, take this lead out. We had 3.1. Let's see if we have anything else. And we have 7.4 and falling, but we just want to reach the threshold to put the other charger that actually charges this battery. That's our goal here. So let's give it another minute and see where we can go. It, don't forget, it's only a 12-volt battery. So you don't need to overcharge it and go crazy with it. Let's take a look at it again. Because we don't want to initially overcharge it. It went up to 9 point something now. That means it's starting to climb. As you see, it's not falling as quick as before. You see, the battery is coming back to life. Slowly but surely. And let's uh, go ahead and keep charging it for uh, another couple minutes. Just make sure the battery is not heating up or we don't have anything undesired going on. And uh, in a minute, we'll check the voltage again. And... Uh, after that, we'll put it on a regular charger that starts actually charging and gives us an indication that this battery will be charging. And as you notice, I'm not putting the caps, the air caps, on yet. The reason for that is that inside the lead walls, when they do the exchange, they get ionized and all the process that goes in. I'm not going to go in detail on that. They release some of the air because it has been dry for too long. When that air is released, it needs to go somewhere. So in this case, I will leave them on until I climb to a voltage that I'm happy with. When I climb to that voltage, I will check for the water again to make sure that we have water in it. But for now, let's let it climb to at least 10, 11 volts. And uh, by the way, let's, let's take a look at it.
as you see, it's uh, up to 10 volts right now. And it's quite steady. Mo way steadier than before. And this charger, don't forget, this charger is only a trickle charger. And it's not the most powerful charger you'll see. So that's why I'm taking it very easy with it. Very easy. Right here. Because I don't want any undesired results. Especially while I'm doing a video. <laughs> so let's give it another five minutes. At this point, I'm happy with where the battery went so far. As we test the voltage. is at around 9.9 .9 up to 10 volt. And we put this on the side. Before we engage... The real charger now that will put, bring it up to real life. We cannot forget to check for water again. And uh, Visually it doesn't look bad. Down the line I might have to add more. But for now I will just uh, go ahead and start charging it after I drain all this water. And uh, these white things are just uh, pieces of cotton that you put around so it collects any extra water or moisture around them. I would like to put them back up. I place the cover back up. It's not going to be perfect, but I'm just going to put some uh, electrical tape over. And put it back in the uh, old jump starter, and I will not use it as a jump starter anyway. I'll most likely use it as a compressor and inverter. But I brought a battery that I know has been dead to the world as well. If, if you guys want me to do a video on this one, I'll do it. But I don't think there's a point on it anymore because we learned it's the same principle with this one. We connect the leads, and as we see, it's 1.1 volt. And why I brought this one here is to show you this charger, what it does when a battery is dead and it doesn't work. Connect the positive to positive, connect negative to negative, and uh, we turn on the charger. As you see, it stays on this check light. As you see it, it will not charge. It recognized that it's a 12-volt battery. But it will not charge. So now what do we do in this case? Let me turn this off. This was just to demonstrate that the charger works. We put this on the side. Because we no longer need it for now. And we put the battery that we just repaired that was dead to the world. Connect the leads. Negative to negative. Always you do this part with the charger turned off. Positive to positive. And let's see if it charges the battery we just did. Right now, actually, me and you are seeing it the first time, if it charges or not. Let's turn it on. As you see, it is charging. The charging uh, indicator is on. I'm not sure if the camera will catch it, but it's charging. As you see, it blinking. And it says it's a 12-volt battery. With that said, I hope we learned something, and I hope it helped you in your case, and we'll see you next time. Bye.